You just tuned into the Heel in the Face live wrestling show here every Wednesday hey, night on Spreaker. Hey, 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 you forgot to introduce me, the smooth boy Sith, Ryan I'm, 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 And you forgot to mention that they can follow us on Twitter I'm, at Heel and Face. Duh. I was going to get to that, but I didn't get a hey, chance. Hey, shut up. Excuse shut me. Shut up. I'm tired of hearing you, you two people argue. Really? We have a show to do. We're, We're getting there. It's Wednesday arguing. night. We it's were talking. It's the Heel in the Face live wrestling show. We open up a great Somebody show. get Lenana Dina rubber Christ. chicken wow. and let's get to it. nuts. Worship the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Heel in the Face radio show. Now, here is And we're here. <laughs> yeah, man, we're 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 definitely here. We're only what fifteen minutes late. Yeah, fifteen. Well, fifteen. Something 16, like that, 17. you know. It's all good. But uh, man, what's going on? It's uh, it's it's a crazy. It's been a crazy week. I would say so, man. Definitely, you know. Uh, Saturday. Go ahead. Saturday was SWA. Yes, it was, man. Wrestle hell. And uh, I don't have any information, but from what I was hearing, it was one hell of an intense show. I mean, <laughs> J Fabs. That's all I say. <laughs> what? What's in that boy's cornflakes? That's what I want to know. I don't know, but let me tell you something, man. He he has some big balls <laughs> to step in the ring. With the Pride champion, Johnny Malloy. I mean, why, why, why would you even try to? You know, I don't know. It, he's crazy. But uh, the match actually went off with uh, John Malloy and uh, Nova Scotia. I don't have the total details. I'm just looking through my Facebook and uh, checking some stuff out, and uh, I see something pretty damn interesting, Sean. And you probably didn't even see it yet. I don't know. You might have. An interesting new makeup of Tattooed Ugly Len Oddity. That is pretty interesting, I must say. Ladies and gentlemen, if if you are uh, friends with Len Oddity, check it out. It's quite, how should I say, odd. Yeah. Way to (laughs) suck up. (laughs) Oh no, I don't have to suck up to him. <laughs> uh, but that's uh, right, because you've no. done it a couple of times already. <laughs> oh, you're too funny. What do you say about that, Ryan? Yeah. Oh, Ryan. Ryan speaks loudly. Ryan's not here. You yeah. know what that means? Uh oh. Twinkie boy is on in the rodeo. Or not something? only is the Twinkie cowboy absent again. Maybe he got up this morning without his cream filling. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. That, that, that could be in a good way, a wrong way, who, however you women want to take it. <laughs> but, you know what that means? What's up? No pie in the face this week. I know. So, you know what? Honestly, in my decision of this whole thing that you two had, he's not here. He should get the pie. No, we can't do that. I, I lost the bet. Dude, he's not here. Well, that, <laughs> he, he, did, he did call me earlier and say that, you know, he got stuck in the middle of, of doing something for, you know, making money purposes. <laughs> <Like> that, <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> that's all fine and dandy, but jeez, man. But, but we, get to, we get to relive the pie in the face next week. Mm. It's been postponed one week. I get, I get a week reprieve that I don't get a pie in the face. I hear you, man. Definitely. <laughs> but, uh, all right. Well, you know what? We'll, we'll hold off on that pie in the face then. We'll see what happens. You know, and uh, I have, I've, I'm looking here in uh, Eris Reigns. Uh, you know, I see pictures of her, you know, going after... Uh, Harold O'Hearts, man, this is pretty interesting. I wonder what broke out, you know. We really, you know, we should uh, try to contact her and see uh, what this whole thing was all about because uh, she looked pretty pissed off. 
and she took them down. Wow. Yeah, pretty interesting. Very. Not to say that yeah. Harold O'Hart's probably didn't deserve a DDT. I mean, <clears throat> yeah, Harold O'Hart you know, is just, uh, you know, he's a knucklehead. When Miss it comes Rain's down to probably, it. Uh, probably had no problem. Probably had uh, probably had something he said. Oh yeah, that, definitely, uh, definitely made him get his face planted into the turf for I'm sure what wasn't the first time ever. <laughs> I would say so, definitely, and. Uh, well, he's he's gonna have to um, kind of explain himself to us sometime soon. But uh, man, I'm all excited. You know, coming up. Uh, what do we got in November? Is uh, the big event in November? Isn't that a little far away to be, no, to be pushing it's that not, now? It's not far away because you know why. You know why it's not far away? Why is it not because far away? Because you've got the Steiners. Scott Steiner, Rick Steiner. The Steiner brothers are going to be together at the big event. When was the last time that you've seen them at an appearance in the ring or anything together? It's been a while. Eight years ago? Yeah. that That's a long time. Eight years, man. So... And it's going to be right here in New York, and it's going to be awesome. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, and also, uh, we have um, Oksana. Oksana. Oksana Lamoon? No. Not Oksana Lamoon, you ding dong. Oh, Oksana she, from okay. WWE that oh, used she's to, be into big events that too? had the hots for uh, Theodore Long, Teddy. You know she had the hots for him all through and still does. She's going to be at the big event. You know, so you want to come and check that out. And uh, also, you want to see it's November eighth is the big event. SoCal Val is also going to be on the card for there. Sponsored by uh, Stronghold Pro Wrestling, so you could check that out. You know, in uh, September, what else do we have? We have Brodus Clay. Brodus Clay in September? Yes, we do. Sponsored by uh, Stronghold Pro Wrestling also. But uh, what else is going on, man? You gotta have something. You, you don't just sit there and play with your phone. Well, you know that, you know that uh, next next week is the big uh, return of GCW. I I, I know, man, and uh, you know Steve Savage. You know, you know. Uh, I sat down. You know, he he said that he was quite interested in uh, appearing here on Long Island at a Stronghold event, and. Uh, I sat down, thought about it with the uh, other officials, and I don't know. We got to see what Steve Savage, if uh, he's willing to come down here, definitely, 100%. And if he is, maybe we'll have something for him. We'll see. So uh, everybody can keep their eyes open and be ready to see uh, Steve Savage coming down to Long Island, definitely, in February. Steve Savage is good. Yeah, mm-hmm. I like Steve Savage, man. I checked out a lot of his work, you know, and uh, we've talked through Facebook on and off and whatnot, and he's a good person. You know, he's one person that uh, I wouldn't mind uh, working with, you know, in the ring and outside of the ring. So uh, maybe we'll have something there. We'll see what we could uh, stir up, what kind of deal. But... um it's basically it, but we do have, unfortunately, Robbie Rebel is coming back to Long Island. Did you and say he's unfortunately coming, or unfortunately? No, unfortunately he unfortunately? is. Unfortunately? Yes, because... How is that unfortunate? Fortunately, that's what I said. Can't you hear? No. Yeah, I think you better get the wax the, out of you. The rest of Radio Land heard what I heard. I think you wax out Even of Even Mrs. Ears. Abernathy heard it. But he's coming back, and his debut back in wrestling is going to be with uh, ECPW August 2nd 
at the Ron Conkerman Firehouse. Tickets are already on sale. ECPW1.com. Check it out. Dr. Lamar Braxton Porter will be there. Vinny the Guido. Uh, God. No ladder matches, right? No, and you know what's really funny? We have about maybe 100 ladders within the area. We don't have a ladder match? Come on, man. No, no, no. Trust me. That's, 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 that's good that there are a lot of matches. I know. I hear you. The ceiling. The ceiling over there, way too small. Uh, I'll, honestly, I'll tell, you, <laughs> I'll tell you something, man. The ceiling, uh, you know, I, I went in there and I did a uh, promo. If there was like, if I was probably like another 10 feet taller, I would have hit the ceiling. So just imagine, you're getting on top of those ropes. Mm, no. Not for me, man. No yeah, way. Yeah, the, the ceiling's no too way. small for a ladder match. Yeah. It's too yeah. small for matches, a period there, no. but... No. It, no, it's, it's a good... It's a decent venue. It's all right. But uh, we're hopefully going to find something uh, a little bit more... I don't know. <laughs> a little more space, that's all. A little more spacious? Yes. And I'm talking upward and outward. Because, uh, no, they wanted to do, and I'll tell you, no kidding, uh, me and uh, the other officials, Gino Caruso and all them, and uh, we was talking about bringing in a cage match. When? Not sure. But we were looking at everything. As long as it's not a cage match with a ladder. There, well, there is no way to put a cage in there attached to the, to the ring itself. There is no way. Because it would honestly, you wouldn't be able to climb out. <laughs> you would not be able to climb out. It would literally be, from what we measured, probably about like six to eight inches. Well, you know, <laughs> from the beach. You know, and I'm sure you know this, with you and the rest of ECPW's officials being uh, being fairly sharp, sharpie, uh, that you couldn't necessarily don't have to have the stipulation that they have to escape the cage. That could just be a pinfall in the middle of a cage match. Well, we do know that. There, we do know there's other, uh, you know, ways of winning the match, not only by climbing over, but we would just, you know, it's more fun to see them to try to climb out. You know, they have that option. It's With more six fun, to eight inches. It's more fun to see who to climb out. Anybody. I would like to see... Cronus try to climb out. That'd be funny. He'd bounce off the floor. Cronus wouldn't, uh, wouldn't climb out. He would just tear the cage yeah. off and walk out. Oh, definitely. But uh, you know, we're looking at six to eight inches from this, from a beam to the ring. No. Although I don't know. Yeah, that, he's uh, got a he's got a bad no. luck streak against me E three. Well, you know what? Uh, all I gotta say is that those three guys better, you know. Keep that going because, I don't know, he's going to come back with a vengeance, and he will. You know he will. Cronus, you know. He will come back. I don't know. I don't know how you let it, I don't know how you let it get to 2-0 and o or to 0-2 in your case, but I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe you should, like, knock out the Twinkie diet the night before. <laughs> I can't speak for him, but you know what? He is going to come back, and he's going to have that, you know, that – winning streak inside of him and he will win he'll come back and win no matter what you know these three clowns forget about them clowns how can you say clowns all right they're two and oh and if somebody if you cut in the thirds would equal all of their weight <laughs> honestly man how do you call them clowns i don't understand no more they're obviously very smart yeah, they're very smart because they have to have the three of them go up against one person. It was built that way. Yeah, why? What? You know, the contract. SWA officials build it that way. Yeah, they build it that way. They probably set the contract that way, where that they go up against Cronus and these three clowns well, turn around and said, "No, I'm not going by myself. It's going to be the three of us and none of us." That's they what they probably it, did. They all figured it was easy. The SWA front office said, we're going to squash these guys. Let's put them in the ring with Cronus. No. Cronus said, I'm going to squash these guys, so I don't have to train. I can just eat a couple more Twinkies. And all of a sudden, bam, he's 0-2. No. Against three guys who he should be tossing around the ring and tying up in the ring ropes. I don't know. I really, you know, honestly, to my opinion is 
either way that it is, Cronus will come back. He's going to have a win against them. All three. No more ring dings before the show. No more. He'll be... He, he, t- I, I'd say funny bones, but they stopped making those. He'll much be a, to my chagrin, because I'm fat. He'll be on his hate game. Trust me. Come the next uh, SWA show, he'll be ready. No problem. That's a bunch of bull. Three mo- three clowns. Or do you want me to call them monkeys? How, how, do, you, how do you say that? They well, were puppets. You they know won I'll call twice. Them, I'll call them... The SWA puppets. Not That's what one, they but are. twice. How do you, how do you how do you blame them for that? How I don't blame them for nothing. They right, did. I congratulate right, they, them. They did Here their job. They did their job. Here you go. And yeah. this and and their CD, which is sure, which is sure to win a Grammy, or at least at the very least an American Music Award. Yeah, in another it century. It was on sale at that event. Yeah. So what? But there is no way next time they're going to beat them. I'm, I'm, very, I'm very pissed off if, they have, if, if they're listening to this. and I'm sure at some point they will. But I, your 2013 host of the year, <sighs> have yet to receive my autographed copy. Just saying. Just putting it out there. Honestly, you could get your copy and stick it up your nose. No, I, I, All right? I haven't gotten my autographed well, copy. Well, when you do get it, I, stick little, it. I'm a little upset about that, and, and I'm waiting patiently in the mail. Good. I'm wait, I'm, I every day I check the mail, and I say, is, is today the day that never. I'm going to get my BE3 single signed by the artists? You never know. Maybe they'll even deliver it to you, and they could shove it right up that your would nose be nice. or if right up your if next Wednesday, ass however you want. If next Wednesday they showed up here for an interview and my signed copy of their new hit single. And maybe we could even see if Cronus will be here and they could turn around and uh, debate, you know, why does it take three of them to take on one? That's the way it was built. They're cowards. It doesn't matter how it's built. They're it cowards. It matters how it's built. Is that if SWA says, okay, it's you three in the ring with this guy, what are they going to say? No? They're cowards. Oh, then SWA will say, oh, like Tommy Coe, you're fired. They're a bunch of cowards. That's or, all I know. Or, or they can just put them in the middle of the ring and beat them up. Like, and they can call it Tommy Coe. Oh, you've been Tommy Coe. Come on now, man. Oh, no, I'm sorry. You've been Tommy Seed. Yeah. That's how that works. <laughs> oh, man, oh, man. But uh, trust me, I- I'm not even worried. I think Cronus is going to... Let everybody back. who gets sucker punched in the middle of the ring, let it be called a Tommy C. Really now? Come on now. Really? You know what it was? His, his, his you know, Malloy's punch, it was, it was like a blood, a butterfly, you know, right, right That's next to me. That's why you were kissing the canvas. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because you thought you were alone with it. Yeah, okay. No, no, it's all right. <laughs> oh, man. You forgot. You, you you got hit so lightly that you forgot that you were in the middle of the ring with, all alone, just making out with the canvas. <laughs> you must have also subsequently forgot about the chair shots that followed, but that's okay. Well, no, no, no. The chair shots that followed, that was a bunch of bull, man. That was a bunch of bull. You know, I got hit, and... Nothing oh, was wait, supposed to be back. done. Let's go back. And, and let's Head go Rush back. was supposed let's to be the one to, protecting. Let's go back to the very beginning. Beard, you made it. You made a deal with the devil, who 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 shined their halo, and it shone and it sheened so bright that it, that you you missed the horns. Okay. Then you get Tommy Seed in the middle of the ring. All right, and, and then you get wrapped a couple of times with a chair. Oh. And the only person to defend you was Head Rush. And he's nowhere to be seen. Because Head Rush has better things to do, man. You know, he, he's making things happen what he, on what he's doing. All right? It doesn't matter. I think he's, I think he's got a problem with being set on fire. Yeah. yeah, because his brother is a coward. He has to, you know, hit us. Wait, hit a, a, yeah. coward? Yeah, his brother's a Last coward, week man. Last he was singing the sweet praises of Johnny Malloy. Oh yes, I do. I thought you were going to put his but makeup on for him. But you shouldn't have to go up against your own brother, your own blood, and take them out. There's no reason. 
There's no reason. But he turns around and he did what he did. So he's got to watch out because head rush, he could be right around that corner at any time. And you never know who's going to be backing him up. So, uh-huh. you know. I ain't seen him. Well, you never know. Have you seen him? I don't say nothing, but ain't you never know. Seen him. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But, uh, yeah. What, what the whole monitor's over there saying stuff. What is she saying over there? I don't know. But, yeah, so you don't remember the chair shots? Oh, I remember the chair shots very well. But, okay. you know, me, I, I only got hit in the, in the leg with it, and I got hit in the shoulder. You know, and then after that, I get punched in the face. Mm-hmm. You got you Tommy C way before that. I'm going to make that same stick. No, oh, man, <laughs> I, really I don't am. think so, man. I really am. If I got to put it against the comic and beat it like silly putty, I'm going to make it stick. Oh, man, come on now. Well, let me tell you, I really, whatever, you got it. You, you could keep on saying your. What? Yeah. It is what it is. It happened. Uh-huh. Okay. It ha- we were talking about BE3, which, by the way, where is my autographed single? Uh, well, you got to ask them. Yeah. I, I, I'm going to invite those boys down here next week so they can hand deliver it. No, I don't care. They can hand Once deliver it. Once in a while, you come up with a good idea, Sharpie. Yeah, they can hand deliver it in however they <laughs> want, man. I don't care. They could come and sing for you. By the way, everybody... Who I've spoken to or read comments about loves your new nickname. Loves it. In fact, at the next ECPW show, we're gonna get a we're gonna get a Sharpie chant going. Well, you know what? That's all fine and good, man. <laughs> because August second, I'll be there. You never know what's gonna happen. You're gonna be there with Sharpie chants. Yeah. Okay. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Definitely. But, uh, God, there's not too much going on from what I'm seeing around. Well, why don't we take a short little break? Yeah, we'll scrounge up some more stuff and, uh, Home on is you smacking know, me. And, uh, Sean could dream about the, the ball boys. Not dreaming yeah, about that's anybody. what they are. The ball boys. Three balls. Uh, they're just a great band. They're three bunch of ball they're just, they're, just, they're just a good boy band. Yeah, okay. See, Who doesn't like a good boy man? Well, you do, of course. Stop it. You, stop. I, yeah, I bet you I, do. I, I you love them. Working. I know you're in the garage trying to trying to start up the lawnmower and you're singing and you're singing a new kids on the block song while yeah, you're bopping. It's all right. While you're bopping your hips back and forth. I know. I got it's it. It's all good. I can just picture it. And well, now you, I have to sleep with my eyelids stapled open tonight. Now you sing that B three, whatever the crap there. I haven't even heard it. You probably have. Don't I lie. haven't. I haven't gotten my autographed copy. You got it on YouTube. It's on YouTube? You probably do have it. I don't know it's on YouTube. Or Pandora, whatever the hell you want it on. No, I, I want my CD so I can listen to it on my yeah. way into work. Why don't we take a break? And you could sing your boy band song, I don't even so. know what it is. I, uh, yeah, I, I okay, gotta listen sure. To it. I'm sure it's going to uh-huh. be a mega hit, though. Yeah, mega hit I'm sure this. it's going to have more downloads and Chinese democracy from Guns N' Roses. <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> Hold on to take us out.
is unknown. Saga, the insect ventible from the mighty, mighty conceptual elements. We're about to fuck shit up. We are the black sheep. Yeah, this one's called black sheep. Black sheep. Black sheep. Black sheep.
And yes, we are back, you know. Dan Acosta, Axis Unknown. The man is traveling around. Check him out. You know, he's doing Dan Acosta. his thing. You know, he's He's, he's got he's his everywhere. own Smarky named after him. Yep, he's out there, brother. Smarkies. Ooh, ladies and gentlemen, you hear that? Smarkies. Smarkies. Everybody ready? Everybody has to be ready. It's it's like inching up upon us. It is. And uh, you know what? It It's going to be quite an event. And uh, everybody, I, I, I can't wait. I'm excited. It, you know, mm. have a room bunch of full of a uh, bunch of crazy fans, workers, marks, I should say, in there, too. <laughs> so forth. You know, it's going to be a great yeah, event. That's right. And, and, and the president of the of the marks, Smarky, I mean, Sharpie will be there. Uh, you no, know, that's you, man. <laughs> and I roll marker on my phone. <laughs> yeah, that's you. <laughs> but uh, it, it's going to be a great event. Um, but Let's not forget about August 13th. Here comes Sharpie. Ready? Three, uh, two, one. What, what the hell is August 13th, Sean? Go ahead, man. You don't know what August 13th is? August 13th. Uh, no, I don't. I'll give you a clue. Uh, We're finally roasting somebody. Oh, man. Wow. Len Oddity. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and you know what? Ryan's not going to be here for that. Ryan might not be here for that. Well, eh, it'll be his loss, you know. But, uh... Yeah. Uh, Ryan, Ryan, not coming to these roasts. Uh, I, I, I wonder if he's. I wonder if he's a little insecure. I wonder if he's a little insecure. Kinda, yeah, it, a little it, insecure. You know, honestly, all right. I what do you think about that, Ryan? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Twinkie Cowboys don't talk. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it, I, I'm not. You know, toot my horn. I, you know, I don't. Man, say I'm gonna get that pie smashed in my face next yeah, week. Yeah, you but are, man. Then, I, I don't say too it, much. What is that about? What, man? What is this? What is that about? What's what about? How does how does the great Bambino lose to Bobby Blue Jay? The great Bambino sucks. Su- 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 no, he doesn't. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Yes. How does he lose? Come on, man. I'm there not has a, to be I'm some not, outside interference. I, he, there I, must have been some bubble gum in the ring that he stepped in <laughs> and got and got his boot caught. Maybe BE three left it. Uh, I, I don't know what, come on. Order, order, what the match is on now. Uh, I, You know, Ryan said it last week. Bobby Blue Jay is going to take it. He's not a big fan of uh, CJ Antonino. I'm not a big fan anymore because, it, you know what, his whole thing is just boring. Bobby Blue Jay, me and him had our problems. But you know what? The kid can work. The kid can wrestle. And he showed it. He made his – he marked right there in SWA – on Saturday against CJ Antonino. Lost. No. Yes. No, something must have happened. Yes, come on. Don't even turn around and, and try to even do that because he turned around and he lost. Bobby Blue Jay was up on his A game and he's going to be up there because that kid is out there working, training hard as he can. And you, what, what, what did CJ Antonino do? Go to a baseball game and eat hoagies? You don't think Come on. CJ trains? Yeah, he he trains. He sits outside the gym watching the women work out. Come We're on. not talking about... Give me a break. We're not talking about how Tommy C trains. No, man. We're talking about Come CJ on. Antonino. Listen, he, he doesn't do the work that Bobby Blue Jay does. And honestly, I'll stick up for him and I'll go to bat for him because the kid is working and he's coming up. And he's making a difference in SWA. And he did by beating the old champion, the first champion of SWA. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm st- I still think uh, NYWC should check the ring for bubblegum. No, I don't think so at all. That <laughs> ring is in top condition. They maintain that ring every sh- after every show. So there is no way, no way, nothing wrong with it. It's just... CJ was on his zero game. Yeah. Think I about it. It doesn't matter. Um, he lost. 
I'm going to get a pie in the face next week. I think you should get two of them. In the front and in the back. Double. Yes. Thanks. I think you deserve a double. <laughs> yep. It, I, I think so. Ryan called me this afternoon saying he wasn't going to be here for the show and he was all... He was all busted up that he wasn't going to get the little pie in my face. Oh, but it's not done. But it will be done when Ryan shows up next week. Okay? And it will be. I will communicate with him, and I will make sure there is two pies here. Two. <laughs> you got it. You're going to make sure? Yes, I'm going to make sure two pies are here. One for the front of your face and one for the back of your fat well, head, too. We're gonna, we're and we're going to put them bitches together like an Oreo cookie, the opposite way around. We're going to, uh, we're <laughs> go, I, I gather we're going to be filming this little stunt. Yes, we're going to turn around. We're going to do it outside of the building because we don't want to ruin anything inside of this wonderful office, studio at all. So we'll do it outside. And we're going to tape it. And then after we tape it, we're going to release it. <laughs> Right there, and then on really? Facebook. Yes. Really? It's going to be released right I know, away. I don't know. Uh, my lawyer might have a problem with that. Lawyer Schmoyer. It's going to be released right mm. away. My lawyer might have a problem with that. Well, your lawyer, he could turn around and get a pie in his face, too. You know what? I think my lawyer will be here next week. You can to bring... Make sure that, to make sure that this content doesn't get released. You could bring him or her, too, and we'll give them a pie in the face and then in, mm -hmm. in the back of the head, too. I think I think my lawyer is gonna have something to say about that. You do what you got. Well, who's your lawyer? What? Bobby Bobby Dream. Mm -hmm. Captain Capslock. <laughs> you know, you know, he... <laughs> He's got a. He, doesn't he have a degree in like street pharmaceuticals? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, but. Either way, you bring whoever you have to. I will have two extra pies here for him. You know what? You know what? And then that's how it'll go. I might bring my lawyer, and I might hire an enforcer to make sure that the video isn't released. So then we'll have to have six pies? I don't mind. The more pies, the merrier. I don't think you're going to throw a pie in my enforcer's face. Six pies. It'll be good. I just might have to bring somebody along to make sure that this goes over clean and no... And no uh, and no, um, no damage, no, no psychologically damaging video was released. Oh no, it's gonna be all in fun, definitely. It, it, trust me, it might scar me. <laughs> it ain't gonna scar you. It might. Trust me, the pie isn't gonna cut you. It might. The the filling is not gonna cut you, and anything else. It might scar my psyche. I mean, a bet's a bet. I'm gonna do it. Y your but your psyche. Gonna, but I'm gonna have my lawyer file an injunction as to not get the video released on social media. <laughs> we'll put that video straight up on not, Facebook everywhere. Not after everywhere. My, not after my lawyer gets done. I'm gonna put one pie in the lawyer's face <laughs> and to the back of their head, and and Ryan is gonna boom to you and boom to the back of your head. That's it. I think I'm gonna have to file an injunction. At Throwing that stuff up on social media will, will damage my psyche. Do what you may, do what you must. Turn around, <laughs> do trust. We will give you pies in the face. Don't worry about it. You, You'll get that'll it. Be, that'll ha that, that will happen. Oh, yes, I it will. Bet, and I, and I got to live up to that. I backed my man, CJ <laughs> Antonino. And uh, at the end of the night, he was counting ring lights. So, I mean, I got to... Oh, hell yeah. He was counting the lights. He was counting I gotta, how many tiles and I'm gonna I'm going to take a pie in the face of the Great Bambino. Yeah. Well, maybe we should have the Great Bambino come down and get one, too. No. Because he's such a god darn sucker gonna, that gonna, he had to I, kiss the ground. I'm going to take a pie in the face, for, you know, for, for, the, for CJ, because... But you're going to let him know? That, that's what that's what, I, that's what I'll do for, you know... Well, you better let your 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 hero know... That's what's he's going not. on. He's, yes, he's your hero. He's not. Yes, he's on that list. He's a, he's a good wrestler, but he... He's on your list. Don't lie. I know. Len is the, at the top, <laughs> and then it goes CJ Antonino. Come on. I know the list. Really? I know. And you got a list. Who's the third, then? The third is uh, Head Rush. Has to be. Wow, you're wrong. Oh, no. Wait, wait. I'm sorry. The other guy, John Malloy. No, no, Johnny you're wrong. Johnny Malloy. Yeah. No, you're wrong. It's okay, man. You're wrong. 
I you know. know. I'll shoot you straight. You're wrong. Okay, but my two are right in the beginning. Of course, it's Lynn number one. And number two, number two, might, num- is number, two it, might, number, number two on my favorite independent wrestler list might be a tie. Um, well, you got C.J. Antonino. I know that he's 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 at least in your top three category. Has to be. But if you want, have him here. He'll get a pie in the face too. It'll be I, all good. I might invite him and let him know. That he's gonna get a pie. Don't turn around. Just invite him, and then he no, gets no, a no, pie. No, no, no. He's not getting a pie. I, oh, okay. I, I lost the bet. I'm, I should. I'm gonna be the only one getting a pie in the face. And my lawyer is gonna have an injunction in his suit pocket that that no that no member. Oh, I know who you. No person present can post that on social media. I know who your attorney's gonna be. It is probably the one, the smelliest, Vinny the Guido. No. Yeah, no. come on. He he's Vinny, he. Vinny doesn't have a law degree. He, well, unless it's trailer park law, then yeah. Know, well, that's how you look. Well, that's how you look at it, you know. But come on, hmm. there is nobody. That, yeah, trust me, they, nobody is going to back you up on it. My You're done. lawyers are listening to this show right now, and they're already probably as they're listening to the show, typing out their typing out their their paperwork for the court. Well, they could type out all they the want. Judge man. will sign it. I'll even sign it. I'll I'll I'll, I'll draw. What are you gonna sign it? I'll Mickey draw Mouse? my I'll draw yeah I'll draw a picture on Tommy it. Tommy Sharpie C. I'll put a picture on there of you getting a pie smushed in your face. You can, I, I'm gonna take the pie. We've already established that. And it's gonna that. say check me out on YouTube and Facebook. We've already established that, but there will be no <laughs> social media in the event. And you know what we could even do? At the next Stronghold event for the opener, we could put it on this big screen. Showing you getting a pie in the no, face. No, no, no. That'll be that, that. That won't be necessary because it'll be injunction by then. It'll be blocked. Yeah. Oh, oh man. Nobody. Yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll take they the video. They can hear it. They can hear it. We'll take the video. We'll put plastic. We'll up see. Again. We'll put plastic on the floor and on the walls so that we don't damage anything. No, we, we don't want to do anything in here. We'll do it right outside no, no, we'll the put door. No, because I want. I want people. People can hear it. I'll bring but a mic out there. nobody can see it because it'll damage my psyche. Oh, psyche this. Come on now. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. If Ryan was here, Ryan would be calling you a wussy. Ryan wouldn't be calling me a wussy because I am not protesting that I shouldn't get a pie in the face. Yeah, you get the pie in the face, and we should be able to put it right up on not you. Not after my lawyers are done. Oh, you, you, bah, bah, bah. You, you hiding behind people, man. You sound like... Uh, what is that? Mm-hmm. A crybaby. I'm not hiding behind anybody. I'm just, I'm just blocking it from damaging my psyche. What do you got to hide? What do you got? The fact that a pie in my face is on social media could damage me. Listen here. It could damage me irreversibly. Listen, hold on here, hold on. Like Kronos losing twice to BE3. That could be some irreversible psychotic damage. Hold on. You turn around, you saying getting a pie in your face is going to be damaging? That's right. Okay, what about me when I turn around, free spirit, open-minded, don't give a shit, just did what I got to do and did the blue meanie out there in the park and on the side of Sunrise Highway and 110. Right here in Amityville, New York, you're telling me that you're going to be damaged? And my stuff was all over, all over. It was. All over the internet. Was, I mean, it was on YouTube. It was on Facebook. It was quite It was funny. everywhere. It was. So it you're still gonna, is on YouTube. <laughs> so you're going to tell me that this is going to corrupt you yes. in a way? This shouldn't. Yes. It's going to cause Come on. irreversible psychotic damage. Turn around. Take your diaper off <laughs> and get your nookie. And I'm only going to get away with. I'm only going to get away with filing the injunction because I'm it, saying it live on air. And take your pacifier out of your mouth and suck it and get smushed in the face like a man uh, and let everybody see it and enjoy it. Nah, because it's for the fans. That's what it's about. The fans can listen to it. This is no, a radio why, show. No, why would who gives a shit to listen to it? This is a radio it? show. What, the fans say, can listen to it. Now. They can hear the crunch of the tin. Listen, this, you know what? And we'll go into, like, big-time radio. Howard Stern used to be the same way we are, where that you can only hear us, not see what happened, 
So why don't we bring stuff to the fans? Let them see what's going on. I'm sorry. I Come missed, on. I missed the part where I make the money that Howard Stern Oh, no, makes. I'm not talking about the money. I'm where talking about... Where it wouldn't cause me irreversible psychotic damage. Oh, come on. You're just saying that because you're afraid. It's not going to do I'm nothing not to you. I'll I'm, even... You know what? I'll, I'm taking the pie in the face. I'll even take a pie in the face. You know why? You don't have to take yeah. a pie in the face. I'll give a Ryan a pie in the face. All of us will do it. It doesn't matter. It's not going to hurt us. It's not going to hurt me to get a pie in the face over the radio. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, it might... Ryan cause, would be calling cause, you a wussy. It might cause irreversible damage... Psychotically or, or psychologically? Wow. If I if, if that were to be seen by millions oh, come of people compared man. to our six fans that listen to us every week. I come on. I've been talking to people, I've told people about this, and they a lot of people said to me it would be interesting to see this in person. To see it either on a video or to be on location. I said, Well, you could come to, on location. I said, and, and we're going to tape it. Why Why would you want to hide it? You, we're not showing anything bad. You're going to get a pie in the face. It's going to be a funny thing. Everybody's it, it going to laugh and it love can, it. It could literally land me in the funny farm. Listen, I'll even smash one on my ass for all I care. <laughs> You're already from the funny farm. It can, it can literally put me in the rubber room next to Len Oddity. No, <laughs> Len's already got the whole hospital floor. <laughs> On. It's his, but yeah. See, oh, maybe a CJ might uh, join you up there and hang out with you. It could, it could very well do that. To me. Oh, come Irreversible on! Irreversible psychic damage. That's what I'm claiming. That's what my lawyer is going to file the injunction for. Give so this stuff doesn't get out on social me media. Me a break. Take your thumb out your mouth. Take your diaper off. My lawyer, come will on. Be, my lawyer will be here next week when I get the pie in the face. Lawsuits in his pocket already. I'm go. gonna cream your lawyer too with one. He's gonna have the injunction in one Who on gives one a side. Crap. And yeah, yeah, I did that. He's just gonna be set up to roll. All right, I'm gonna have one for him too, or her. I'm gonna pie them too. It doesn't matter. Enjoy it. He doesn't need one. He he, he might like only it. Only use a female lawyer for one thing. And what's that? Divorce court. I don't know. Never been there. Never planned to be. But me neither. But you only use a female lawyer for divorce court. Oh, okay. Well, everything else you use a man for. That didn't sound right. But okay. <laughs> I'll just I go mean, with all that. All the legal matters you use a man lawyer <laughs> okay. for. Okay. Oh. Yeah, is that better? <laughs> yeah, that's better because yeah. the way you said that, uh, it, 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 that it, out it I, no, it, it was Sharpie. kind of got scary. Your fantasies about me, Sharpie. Because no, man. Do you have fantasies about me, really? <laughs> When you're in the shower, do you, do you think about me? Yeah, and you running around in your diaper. Yeah. I don't wear a diaper. <laughs> I'm, too, I'm a little too young for that. <laughs> oh, shit. But, uh. Wow. Fucking <laughs> A, man. I don't know. I don't know if Paul is saying, God help me because of us, or I God help know. me because of whatever she's into. I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. See, because. What? She said you. Two. Two, okay. She wanted to single out me, but then she decided that yeah, she couldn't. That, that wasn't good. Well, uh, So NYWC is throwing a Thursday night show. Say what? In the middle of the week? It, wow. Ne well, it's not in the Kinda. middle of the week. In the middle of the week would be like... Wednesday. Wednesday. But Thursday? I never... Yeah. Thursday night. Next Thursday. Cool. Trust no one. Bell, open, bell time is 8 o'clock. The doors open at 7 I gotta tell you, I'm looking at these matches, and some of them are killer. Wow. Well, what do we got going on first match, man? Well, well what do we got? We got a last man standing grudge match, Stockade versus J. Rowe. I don't, or Rue. I don't even know if I'm, spelling, if I'm saying that right. That's okay. Mm -hmm. We got a Starlet Champion triple threat, Chrissy Rivera, who is currently, as you know, the champion. Versus Marty Bell. Versus the boy diva Rick Cataldo. Oh, Ricky Rick. Oh, yeah. And for the tag team titles, we've got the Juicy Product, who are the current champions. And they're going against Milk Chocolate. Who in the blue hell 
or milk chocolate? We gotta do some research uh, on that. I don't know. Milk, milk, milk no, chocolate. I don't know, man. That ought to be funny. And then the main event is for the NYWC Championship. And uh, your crazed and insane champion, Mikey Whipwreck, will be facing Mike Mondo. Oh, 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 oh. oh That's wow. at the that... NYC Sportatorium in Deer Park. Oh, man. Definitely. And that is, uh, again, doors open at 7, and the, uh, and the bell's at 8. So, I mean, uh, that might, like, that, that rematch is worth the price of admission right there. Honestly, that sounds pretty damn good, huh? You know, if you can get your tickets or uh, see if there's any available at the door, because that's going to be one hell of a show. NYWC, you know, they're rocking on a Thursday night, man. On a Thursday night? They're rocking. That's awesome. You, you know, really is. Might even Might even check that out. You know what? I honestly, that sounds like something to definitely go and check, check out. Uh, I would go and see it. You know, sounds like a good card. Mikey Whipwreck, Mike Mondo. Hmm. Oh wow! I don't know, man. That right there is a match in its own. That's gonna probably take the show. So those, definitely. Those two are gonna tear each other limb <laughs> yes. from limb. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Mike Mondo is. Uh, you know, he's no joke. Mikey Whipwreck, he he's a loose cannon. He he's a great in the ring, but let me tell you, don't turn your back on him. <laughs> but uh, hey, the rest of the card sounds good. But that chocolate crap or whatever tag team kind of little like, really, chocolate. No, what, that I don't know. Whatever, man. It's a little weird for me. What's a, what's wrong with a little milk chocolate in your life? <laughs> What, you don't like chocolate? Is that what you're saying all of a sudden? No, 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 man. I'm not saying that, but... Uh, I, I think you're like, you're like the first at the dessert buffet. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, but... uh, Wow. Oh, boy, but I'm checking out some of their other stuff that's uh, pretty interesting. You know, Psycho Circus, Going the Distance, all these other shows, Aftermath. I mean, amazing show, man. Amazing company. When, you know, Thursday night, next week, check it out. Bell time, 8 o'clock. Don't miss it. NYWCWrestling.com. Tickets are on sale now. Tickets are on sale at the door. Don't, don't miss it. Check them out. Definitely. Oh, damn. Oh, that, this is insane. I, you know what I can't wait for? What? The roast of Lenotti. You are such a mark, it ain't even funny. What do you mean? You're a mark. How can, how, how can you say that? <laughs> because you... I mean, other than... Other than the obvious reason that I'm a big fan of Len Oddity, I mean, and and who shouldn't be? Come on, man. But I mean, uh, how do you how do you say that? Really, man, you are like the biggest Len Oddity mark there is. That's not true. Oh, I know. There's I'm probably sure, others I'm that sure probably have. Others. Honestly, tattoos probably have some piercings in the same places he has. You know, but God. You are, all right, you're the second biggest mark for him, honestly. Come on. Besides his, uh, what is his uh, <laughs> buddy that takes care of his fan club? He's a mark beyond. That dude is, you can ask him anything about Len. He knows it, he'll tell you. But, uh, wow. So what else? You got GCW? Yeah, man. And that's coming up next Saturday. Next Saturday. And some of those boys are going to be on next week. Steve Savage will be on again. Yeah, We're working man. on getting the uh, on getting the uh, participants to the main event. Cool, cool. Definitely. I can't wait for that, man. And uh, they might have a little surprise, too, if we can get them both on. Whoa. Well, you know what? 
They might have, they might have, uh, they might have more than they bargained for. Let's put it that way. Oh. Because the main event is, of course, for the GCW World Title, and uh, that's going to be Damian Darling versus Chris Envy. Hold on. You heard what I said. I Damian Darling versus oh. Chris Envy. Come on. We've gone through this so many damn times. It's getting boring. It's the it's Chris not, it's, Envy. It's not the Chris Envy. It's the Chris no, Envy. It's Chris Envy. It's Chris Envy. He is. And you know, I'm doing color commentary at that show. I, well, you better have respect for him because I'll, it's the Chris I'll Envy. I'll call him Mr. Chris Envy. It's, I'll call no, him Mr. Envy. That's okay. The Chris Envy. Yeah. That's the respect he no, it's deserves. Not. No, it's not. That's what he should be. That's how he's pronounced. It, it, it's just it Chris goes. Envy. Well, it's the Chris Envy. Trust well, me. Well, anyway, it's, it's Chris. Maybe he'll give you a pie in the face. Eh, who knows? It's Chris Envy taking on the next GCW heavyweight champion, Damian Darling. No, I don't think so. That's what I said. No, 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 no. The Chris Envy will be the next GCW champion. I don't think so. Well, you know what? I'm just laying it out there. I, wait, isn't that a four-way? Hadn't I been changed to a four-way since the last time? four-way uh, dance? I don't know. Since the last time I looked at it? You know, here we are reporting the wrong, we're reporting the wrong information. Damn you, Tommy Cole, for filling out the sheet. Well, you, not me filling it out, man. You that, turned around. And, that's uh, what you get, Sharpie. Really? Come on. But all I got to say is that it is the Chris Envy will be the next GCW champion and like it or not yeah go check mm -hmm. it and see you think, I don't think it's going to happen I think so why would you think not because why why you think uh, Damian Darling is so great yeah, yeah. what does he have to offer that he can actually What do you mean be, what has he got to offer? What come on, what can what strategies does he have that what he can What do you mean be? what he's got to offer? What what strategies? First of all, he, he he's got the look of a champion. Come on. And and the man can the man can wrestle flat out go. No nah, man. And you know what else he's you, got going for him? I'm waiting. The, he's not with Sonny anymore. There's only up from there. Well, that's a plus maybe. But, but come on, man. It's the Chris Envy is going to take it no matter what. Chris Envy is a born champion. No matter how you look at it, how you lay the cards out, that's the champion that's going to be the next one at GCW. I don't think so. Well, you'll see. You'll see what happens. Jason Knight's going to be there in action. Oh, yeah. Uh, Thomas Rodman's going to be there in action. Um... There's, there's going to be a battle royal. Oh, God. Who's in that? Everybody and their mother, uh, well, huh? You know what? We're going to have Steve Savage run down the card next week. You know, and that's at the, uh, let me see. I think that's at the Boys and Girls Club. Yes, Boys and Girls Club. In Waterbury, Connecticut. Yes, Waterbury, Connecticut. Yes. Should be good. And I will be doing color commentary and uh, alongside... Alongside, oh, it escapes me. Well, who are you alongside? You don't even know who you're working with? No, I, I, you know what? I, I've never even met the man. Wow, man, that's pretty scary. <laughs> you know, we're going to be, we're, we'll sort that out next week, though. And things change in independent wrestling all the time. Well, all I got to say is definitely check it out. Okay, let's move right along. ECPW is August 2nd. Yes, they are, man. What matches have been announced? Wait, I'll, I'll, I can answer that probably in two seconds. I'll answer one. two. One. One match has probably been announced. Yep, and that's And that's it. from the ECPW Championship. Yep. And yep. That's, that's, that, that's our good buddy. The reinforcer, Andrew Anderson, taking on the Italian stallion, Gary Reno. So, honestly, that's one of the top matches that is even on the card. And let me tell you, if you're not going to be there, you're going to miss one hell of a match. Because, let me tell you, Andrew's going to stay champion. Uh, and that's, and you're, you're going, why? That's going to be tough. 
Come on, Andrew Anderson is going to I, clean. I like the I like him. Andrew Anderson. Don't ever get me wrong, but you know what? I don't know, Gary Reno. He's been hungry for a long time. Yeah, and th- honestly, this is. Um, I don't think I don't think he lets this opportunity slip. I really don't. He's won titles in the past in different that, companies. Yeah, and but whatnot, that doesn't but matter though. Right now, he as you said, he is hungry. He yeah, might. He you know, tends to make the most of his opportunities. So there you yeah, go. Well, this opportunity, the door opened up, and uh, I don't. I don't. Yeah, see and, what and I don't think he's going to let it slam in his face. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know what? We'll see come uh, August 2nd, you know, at the uh, Ron Conkma Firehouse, Hawkins, and Portion Road. Come and check it out, ecpw1.com. It's going to be one hell of a show. I'll be there in action. Dr. Lamar Braxton Porter, Vinny the Guido. The list goes on. you got a team on dead there. It's going to be an amazing. Alex Vendetta, Lucas Sane, the show's going to be great. And also, you got flames there. So, come on. As long as there are no ladder matches, count me in. Uh, hey, you know what? <laughs> Ladders are dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But, um, you know, I'm actually going to see if we do have anything up right now. That, any any know, matches announced? No. It's way, it's way too early. I know. Normally, that happens like two weeks before the show. I know. that That's pretty sad that, you know, hey. I don't take care of uh, the media stuff, so that's well, not maybe, me, man. Well, maybe, maybe you I should, should go kick the media people in the butt. Maybe I should. You know what I'm saying, Commissioner Tommy Co. See whatever it is you want to call yourself, Sharpie, Commissioner yeah. Sharpie. That's what I'll just call you. Yeah, that, that's you what know? it should be. Man. Everybody's favorite. You're, that's your. It's everybody's favorite nickname for you. No, no, my favorite. Sharpie. Really? Because I've talked to a lot of people, and they're like, wow, that Sharpie name really did stick. Oh, and I was man. like, hell yeah. Dude, your own family even love it. Really? Whole monitor. Whole monitor claps every time I say it. Or at least she giggles hysterically. She's just trying to make you feel good, that's all, because you... Yeah, and, 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 and that, you might, that might hold water if certain other family members didn't like it, too. Oh, man. I'm not going to mention any names, but your daughter likes that I call you Sharpie. Oh, well, all right. It's all right. No problem, man. No problem. That's all good. All right. But, uh, no, but, I, I, but again, I'm not going to mention any names. Wow, man. Come on. But uh, So yeah, after man. that show, on August 9th, we've got a, we, we've got a big, like, how can I say this without it sounding weird? We got a, we got a big debut. We got a big promotion making its debut inside an arena. Oh, who? Oh. Two KW Pro. Two KW Pro is making it, it, it their first really big show. They used to be a backyard fit. I remember them. I wouldn't necessarily call it backyard. I, because it really wasn't in a backyard. Yeah, kind of. But but they're they're gonna go legit, and it's August 9th at seven p.m. and that's at uh, Darrow's Extreme Fitness, eleven twenty three Close Avenue in the Bronx. Oh, that sounds like uh, an interesting show. Sounds Definitely. like it's gonna be fun. What's the names? Anybody on there that will? Uh, Let's see. You we know, got some, exciting. We we got some matches know? announced. We got the absolute Chris Cage versus the real effing deal, Mike Drastic. I heard of Cage before, and I'm sure you heard of this guy because he was co ring rat of the year, the sexual spider monkey, Pinky Sanchez. Oh, Pinky! And he will be facing the Funky Monkey. Angel Ortiz. The Funky Monkey. All right. And I'm sure you heard of these two guys. It's our caveman <laughs> versus the sex T-Rex Stan Styles. Wow, I did that pretty good. Yeah, that's right. That's kind of scary, man. <laughs> that, that's a little scary. He's probably listening to this going, what the? Yeah, I would then, say so. And then we got Raz, and he's... And he's uh, squaring off against Joe Bullrog. Joe Bullrog. Yep. Interesting name. 
Interesting. Then we got Ryan. I can't see this because the font's all messed up. We got Ryan Zawazowski. Sorry if I butchered your name and you're listening. Zawazowski? And he's going against the protector of professional wrestling, Jack Gallo. Oh, oh. There you go. Now you're talking. Yep. Oh, wow. That should be a great show because, uh, number one, you got Jack Gallo in there. You know, the caveman in there. And then we got A-list Anthony Silva, and he's going to battle Nolan Avila. <coughs> I, I, I haven't heard of Nolan. Sorry. I never heard of him. And then let's see. We gotta, I got to enlarge this picture because this, this font's difficult to read. We got David Potter, and Mr. Potter will be facing against, against Chaz Marone. Or Maroney. Maroney. Macaroni? I don't know. Oh, and then we got the Players Club, and they consist of Damian Darling and Danny Demento. And in tag team action, they'll be facing Joey Janela and Smiley. Smiley, Smiley. Huh. And then we got Anthony Gangone versus G.A. West. Wow, this card's packed. This card is absolutely packed. And that's and that I believe is only is uh all the matches announced thus far and there's like 10 of them already. Wow. This, but this event is absolutely packed. I do know that uh I have heard through the grapevine and I'm not going to spoil it for anybody that uh other wrestlers will be making an appearance at that show. Oh. And, you know, I'm not going to, uh, my, you know, the little birdies told me, you know, or, or my crack investigative team. The crack ha- of what? <laughs> well, they work, so it certainly is yeah. in your ass. Crack in your ass, that's it, yep. So the crack investigative team have come up with more names that are going to be on that particular card. But, you know, I, I, I'm not going to spoil them until they're announced. Oh, wow, man. You know what? We're sitting here, and we probably don't even have those six fans or nine fans or whatever listening because everybody is out. They're at some bar because I'm looking here on Facebook. You got your BE3. They're at some bar doing a karaoke thing. And you got uh, Coronas there. Wait, they're, yeah, they're not yes. listening? Then nobody's so, listening. So they didn't hear that I deserve no. that I, no, that I should get listening. my autographed copy? Yeah. Of their yeah. new hit single? Yeah. And uh, Duck See, they're Spiral. Warming up. All of they're them. warming up. They probably, have a, they probably have a show this week where they're going to perform their own stuff. You know, they just need to warm up. You know, you got, uh, you know, even uh, Dr. Spiral, the one with uh, Eris Reigns, they're down there. There's a lot of people down there. And, and where I'm, is this? Uh, they're karaoke tonight at Fair, Fair, Fairwell's Tavern in Ronkonkoma. 284 Ronkonkoma Avenue, Lake Ronkonkoma. Come have a drink, sing a song, chill out, hang out. And Cronus is going to be the host of the karaoke night, along with BE3 hanging out down there. I think something's going to happen with them guys hanging out together. Oh, boy, I hope there's security between them. I, I don't but, know. But, you know, man. who knows? The way Cronus is reckoned is, it ain't going to be a problem. No, he'll probably have a drink or two, and that'll be it, you know. But uh, Let me yeah. sing in Metallica. Yeah, so... Uh, Nothing yeah. else matters. Well, a half an hour ago, that event just started with them, so if you want to go check them out, you know, down there in uh, Ron Conkoma, check them out. Ron Conkoma! You know, hey, Ron Conkoma That's Avenue. It. Discourage people from listening to our show no, to go down man. and sing karaoke. It's all good because, you know, we're almost halfway through. We're well, almost there, man. Sharpie, you're killing me. Yeah, man. We're almost done. And our ratings. Night. No, because these people are already there, man. Look, see? They're all there already. They're gone. They're all having drinks already, and they're all shit faced singing. <sighs> this is great. 
Oh, boy. Wow. But, uh, well, hey, I can't wait to speak with uh, Steve Savage, you know, next week. Definitely. Steve Savage, I may, may be a surprise. I, I can't wait. I don't, I don't know. The way, the, I don't know. It can't be anything good. Well, you never, ever know. Steve Savage has... I'm not talking about Steve Savage has a surprise. Well, you never know who he's going to bring out of the box or what, you know. It, it, he's awesome. And, uh, whoa. But, hey, we'll see. Next week, Steve Savage will be on. And uh, you never know who else, as you're saying, from GCW roster. Eat them up. I think we should close it out. I think we're I done. think so, too, because you know what? I'm looking through this. I'm going to make some phone calls. I think we're going to go do some karaoke. Go check it out. You know, why not? I think it's a day, a night, whatever you want to call it. I'll call it anything but a date. Let, whatever. <laughs> you know, might as well, man. So, for uh, us, till next week. I'm going to catch a pie in the face. At yep. two minutes, you won't be able to see it. Ah, <laughs> never but, know, uh, people. That's our show. See you next week. All right. Check independent wrestling, sport independent wrestling, and the wrestlers, SWA, ECPW Stronghold, and many more across New York. Worship the ring, folks. See you next week.